So here's the scenario. Bonquisha, who has a blood type of A, has had a baby and she's trying to figure out who it belongs to. There are three possible fathers. One is her ex-boyfriend, who has a blood type of AB. The second is the creepy stalker with a blood type of O. And this guy with a blood type of B. And is that your phone number? We're gonna use Punnett squares to figure out who the father is. Did you hear him? We're about to do some Punnett squares. Oh, you know, I heard him. I love football. No, no, not punt it squares. Punnett squares. I heard about those in school. Okay, let's say that Bonquisha has a thin nose, which is a recessive trait. And her ex-boyfriend and this guy have wide noses. While the creepy stalker also has a thin nose. And if the baby has a wide nose, then what must the father have? Uh, I'm gonna go with long nose? Survey says... The father would have to have a wide nose so that his dominant traits would show. Creepy stalker, you are not the father. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. And so with the blood types, in AB we have A with a capital I and B with a capital I. For B, it could either be B capital I, B capital I, or B capital I, and B lowercase i. And the baby's blood type is AB. So who do we think the father is? I am the one, the way your son don't need the gun to get respect up on the street. Now let's take a look at your child. Why is my baby's face naked? Where's his nostrils? Oh, um, that's my fault. I I haven't finished editing. Yeah, you better get that fixed. I'll get right on that.